We have had a completely magical day and um, we've got a big surprise for you. So stick around for the end of the video for the big reveal. We uh, manifested some pretty cool events today. We are now here on uh, the side of one of the cliffs for sunset. Oh my gosh, this place is so cool. Grayson is a major climber and he is absolutely loving this place. I had no idea the Badlands were this bad. Um, I almost just fell off that cliff trying to chase my little prairie dog, Grayson. And uh, it was scary, but I did it. Oh! Here's daddy, he's building a snowman. Well, a rock formation, but it looks like a snowman. Oh gosh, I almost tripped over a rock. Bye. You do? What I did was I poured water on it so I can't turn the dirt into mud so it just stuck off. So it just come off easier. All the dirt. I don't have any equipment, but I do have this rock. This has been the best homeschool day ever, or road school, should I say. The boys had the most amazing experience. Boys, what are y'all doing right now? You see some teeth? Yeah. Where's daddy? Where's daddy? Right he is going to the ranger park station to yes, go he's... ask a ranger to come with him to like go. To check it out? To check it out. Cool. Yes. That one's not a bone, it's over there, Grace. That's a bone, yeah. yeah. It is. Of one of those. One of those? Probably not the same one. Eyes that kind 
kind of like sat on top of his head. They weren't like in front of his face, they were like on top of his head and he had huge ears. And his face was really small and short. That is this so is cool. Yeah, that's why I thought it was. That's right. That, I, I, did, I thought that was like some type of joint. I thought that was like a skull or some type of like maybe like a jaw or something. And I thought that All right, these are two. They're, kind of, they're kind of easy to stick out kind of too. Yeah, see how dark they are? Yeah. Yeah, they do. And that enamel, it, it fossilizes so nice and hard like this. But sometimes all that's left of the skull is heat, so. And you're right, there is a joint there. There's a cheekbone there that you saw in the other skull. Mm -hmm. See that? Yeah. Good job, guys. Hey. We're What kind of? That's a maracoidodon. That's a lower jaw of a maracoidodon. That's an oreodon that used to live here. That one is the upper part of the skull. That's called a cranium. Just the top part without the lower jaw. It's called a cranium. And uh, that's also a maracoidodon. That was here millions of years before this one. This is also an oreodon, but this one's called a leptokinia. Leptokinia was much smaller, had a shorter face. Kind of like a cat has a really short face. Had big giant eyes that kind of looked upwards. And it There's has a big giant bird ears. in Rapid City too. Huge ears. Every so often if you go out to the collection, like rabbit, big huge ears. ears. Very so strange like looking. Wow. Some of them were herbivorous and they were all, and all the basically food fighting. for all the other <laughs> animals that were here. Cool. <laughs> so thank you guys. Yeah, you did that's awesome. Job. Cool. We only give these patches out to people who report fossils and leave them in place. If you had reported this, if you dug this fossil out and brought it to us, we would lose so much valuable scientific information. But because you did the right thing and you left it in place, come back and we take these out we can study it we know exactly where it came from we can study the area that's from we can study how it died it helps us a lot we learn more about where it is and where it's situated and how it's situated than we do if we just bring us a, an empty bone just a, a single bone so because you guys did the right thing like i said we don't hand these out very often but because you did the right thing you each get a patch and hopefully i won't fall when i yay hit it. help her great reach out for it <laughs> that is so cool what do you guys say Wow!